Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I've got a quick tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to recreate the iOS style frosted glass looking um, nav bars uh, that you can find in later versions of iOS. Uh, it's, a, it's a really cool effect. Uh, with Pixate alone, they allow you to set opacities on layers, but they don't let you uh, create an automatic blur behind any of them. So what we can do is a quick little workaround it's really easy to do. So let's get started. So before we get into the blur, what I'm gonna do is place in the other assets that I've got prepared for this. This is just something from a UI kit that I just threw together. And I'm just gonna use some photos because it's gonna be the easiest way to show a lot of uh, cool blurred content. So I'll just place these in and order them. I want to make sure that my nav and footer are on top. It's easier to look at that way. And so we're gonna create a scroll container for this. Another way we do that, create a new layer. I'm gonna place this right underneath the header and right above the footer. Name this scroll. I'm gonna change the background of this to white. The only reason I'm doing that is because my photos have gaps in them. Uh, and since it's a PNG, it's transparent. So I want to make sure it's white behind it and that the blur doesn't show through because it will be beneath this scroll. Add a scroll interaction to this and place the photos inside. Now you can see on my screen here that the footer is pretty transparent. So is the header. Um, both of them are at a 25, or I'm sorry, 15% opacity on the backgrounds. And that's so that we can see the blur show beneath it. It's gonna look a little frosted. Uh, but right now, just the way we have this set up, we've got our basic scroll. We don't see it underneath the, the header or the footer because it's, it's in this container, which has clipping on it. If I turn clipping on or off, you can see that there's some, some transparency here. Uh, but I'm going to turn that on because I don't want that. Okay, so now we need to add some blur. So what I'm going to do is go into Sketch. This is what I uh, what I made this UI, and you can use Photoshop, you can use GIMP, whatever you want to do to make the blur. Whatever it is you use to make your UIs, that's fine. Uh, but what I'm going to do is duplicate this artboard, bring it over. I'm going to delete the header and the footer because it does not matter. And I'm going to expand out the artboard size so that I can make sure that I'm not going to get any hard edges. Now in this case, hard edges on the side don't matter, but on the tops and the bottoms they do because I don't want to be scrolling this thing up and then have a super hard edge uh, underneath it and then show an odd blurriness. I want to make sure that all of it's smooth. So the way I'm going to do this in Sketch the easiest way to do it in Sketch is I'm just going to create a new rectangle shape on it and just push R, drag it over. I don't need that border. I'm going to make this white. And if I come down to here where it says Gaussian Blur, I can select the drop down, turn it to background blur. Now, if I drop the opacity, it doesn't do anything. I want to be able to see it, but opacity won't change it. What you have to do is come into the fill and change the alpha level. So if I drop this down, I don't know, this is good, about 60. Now I can see there's some blur effect happening here. Now I can come in and I can adjust the amount. Well, let's just pull this up. Oh, 35 seems pretty good. Just like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna export this entire artboard and drop it back into Pixate. Okay, so now that I've got my blur asset in here, what I can do is just drop and place it in. I need to kind of place it in a way that looks right. Now since we extended the top, we can't just place it directly at the top. It'll be offset. So if I just kind of place it like this, this looks good. Make sure it's centered. And now it's really easy to do this. 
I just make sure this is the bottom layer so it's beneath everything then I add a move animation to it it's going to be based off of the scrolls scroll position tilt be move continuously with rate and move its top at a rate of negative one so now you can see that there is blurred content underneath these bars and as I scroll it looks as if these photos are scrolling or blurring as they go underneath the bar so it's more noticeable in the footer you can see the slight color changes and it just looks really good it looks really natural and it's a great really easy way to mimic the iOS UI so I hope that that was helpful for you guys and I'll see you next time.